Hey, big fans, welcome back to the Big Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked. I'm Jacob, and today I'm putting in a lighthouse in my Lego city. I have been talking about adding a lighthouse to my Lego City Bakersfield for quite a while now and today I am finally starting that project. I'm really looking forward to it because I do have a lot of ideas that I want to try out. But without further ado, let's head over to Bakersville and I'll show you what my project is all about. Welcome back to Bakersville, everybody. Before I move on to today's project, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about some of the suggestions that I had from the last city update regarding the boats in my Lego City Harbor. As you can see, the gondola I put in last time has disappeared and I put in this little dinghy instead and filled it up with all kinds of good stuff. A couple of carrots and it seems somebody left their spacesuit lying around here. I wonder who that might be. But over on my website www.brickbakery.fun it seemed that most of the comments agreed that the gondola was actually not something that fit too well, maybe because of the colors and maybe because of the theme. So I have taken it out because I thought that was a good idea. And Bakersville now has a new resident. This is Mama's Bricks. She has a YouTube channel and an Instagram account and she's been spreading out her minifig across different channels and accounts for the last month or so. I am very happy to have her in my city. I'll see if I can remember to put in a link in the description below. Today's project takes its departure in this little square right here. This it's where the lighthouse will be. And I think the key to making this successful is making it in a way that it doesn't take away too much from the things that are here behind it because these very colorful fronts look great and having something sticking up here in front might just take away from that. So there's a balance to be struck between making this kind of special, kind of unique, but still making it something that will fit great with my Lego city. Another difficulty is definitely going to be scale because this isn't very big and I'm not very good at actually perceiving what size we're talking about. I have a tendency to overestimate how much detail and how much stuff can actually be crammed into something like this. I have a tendency to want to add doors and all kinds of good stuff even though there's not actually any room. So I will have to keep an eye on that while working with this. But I think that is enough talk. The workers are ready to start the project and so am I. So let's head over to the build table and let's get going. Welcome to the build table. And the first thing I think I'm gonna do is remove all these things that are excess right now. These aren't really useful when you want to build something. Having things standing around that are just gonna be in the way. And uh, I've got some detailing here with some barrels. Remove that as well. And of course also this. And so I'm ready to start the lighthouse. It's gonna involve some of these arched pieces right here, some of these arched windows right here, and of course, some of these uh, dark red masonry bricks. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very much uh, inspired by some of the classic pirate stuff, and I think that's gonna look good. Now, I have had some questions on how much preparation I do for making these videos, and usually I just start building, and I film everything, and I make speed building parts of the parts that I find it's not too interesting to watch other than just a quick recap. But this time I have actually constructed a bit of a drawing. This is a, sort of a rough sketch of the idea I have. I'm not sure everything is gonna be like this. And this I think is actually gonna be too tall. But this is sort of the general idea of what I am going for. Um, but without further ado, I think I'll just start out and I'll show you what I am thinking about doing along the way. Thank you. 
as you can see, I've added in a uh, staircase right here. And that's because I would like there to be a staircase to a door up here. I'm not sure it's going to be a functional door. It's going to be more of a decorative one. It's sort of in universe, it's of course going to have a function that you can get into the lighthouse and do something inside but i'm not going to build an interior anyway so um, a, a a decorative door would be great also because it allows me to add in a door that's not one of the standard doors and i do have an idea of how that might look so this is where we are now you can see the sort of um, pirate-esque theme coming in with these masonry bricks and all the white as well so i think i think this will look good once i get to a point where we can actually get an get an impression of how this will look. But um, on we go. And here we are, made a small little um, balcony here that's just in front of the door. I think I'll be adding in some kind of support down here when I get a little farther along, just to give it just a tiny, tiny pinch of realism or something for these. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. But other than that, I'm gonna add in the door up here and I'm gonna use some of these uh, modified one by twos that have this wavy pattern. Uh, and that looks like wood, I think. And uh, some clever use of some one by fours, one by four plates as well. And I think this could look like a wonderful wooden, heavy iron enforced door. Uh, I am reinforced door, sorry about that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm gonna do it. And uh, here we go. And here we go, here's the door. I think this looks quite good actually. A small door handle would be good in the shape of a golden one by one round plate i think that looks pretty good and of course i'm gonna add in some windows on the other sides here i think this is coming along very very nicely and uh, it has an aesthetic that i like a lot i know that the door isn't really as tall as they usually are but i think that adds to the sense of an older building and um it does seem a minifigure could get inside anyway. So yeah, I think this is quite good. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get on with this build. I think putting in the windows here will be a good way to do it. But I don't want these windows just to be placed squarely on the bricks. I want there to be a small a ledge or something, something. And I think I'll be using some of these right here, which is um, some of these pieces, a small one by two that is modified with a small groove at one side to just give it a tiny, tiny sense of, um, you know, having a small ledge or something, which I think looks quite good like this. So here we are. It's uh, beginning to look pretty good, I think. And it's getting very, very piratey, which uh, doesn't really matter to me. Now I'm gonna build this maybe two bricks taller, and then I'm gonna add in the top layer, which is gonna be uh, the lamp or this, the rotating light. And I have some windows for that, and I have some round bricks for that as well. So yeah, and that's gonna be that's gonna be what that is. So uh, on we go. Yep, so uh, there we go. I've added in the layers I wanted and uh, I've also added some small arches here with a small tile in here just to give it some detail and sort of emulate it in the same feel over on this side because um, these small arch pieces are actually three bricks wide and there wouldn't be room for it if, uh, if they were both to be there. So I've emulated 
the arches on this side by doing this and I have the arches on this actual side over here. So this is um, this is sort of the base of the tower. I think maybe I'll be adding in some of those uh, bar pieces that looks like a prison cell thing here just to cover up that there's no interior just a tiny bit but now i think i'll be adding a, um, a plate up here and getting ready to build the rest of the top Here we are, I've added in the plate. I did have some ideas with uh, some of these sloped pieces, but it didn't really work out because I don't have any of these corner slopes. So uh, that idea won't work. But um, I am wondering if I should add uh, a, a top to this that, that goes out just a bit and, uh, and uh, have a more, hmm, I don't know if it would be more aesthetic if there was some kind of fence around this top. Hmm, maybe it would. Yeah, I'm gonna try that out. So yeah, I am keenly aware that this looks pretty much like a, a tower from the Pirates theme. And that is partly the point, but I believe that adding the top for this, adding the light part, will take home the message quite well while still being in the style that fits this build. I do know this looks like some kind of guard tower. Add a flag of the uh, of the old Admiral's theme, you know, this one, and you have a pretty good impression of an Admiral's fort. But that's not what we're gonna do. We are gonna add in a lighthouse top to this little build. While putting in these small rounded pieces right here, I actually learned something I didn't know. I think the newer ones has this pattern in here and the older ones doesn't. And that means these are actually a little more flexible than the newer ones, which is uh, kind of neat because then you can do some offset patterns on this, which increases integrity. It's going to be harder to knock over like this. But now I think I'm ready to add in this, but I need to add a small plate here so I can put uh, something in here that's going to resemble the actual uh, light bulb thing that's in here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna find a plate and uh, some lights and add in this. So what I've done here is I've taken a regular pin, one of these pieces right here, and a plate with a hole in the middle and I've stuck it through from below like this and it can sort of click into place. And then I have this very weird piece which is actually a double of, uh, of the regular round transparent bricks. I don't know, I, I think actually this came from a lighthouse but um, yeah, so I'm gonna add that in like this and we have the bottom and of course we need one more to sort of finish it off and I have a regular round one right here and there we go light inside and of course there's going to be a little bit of room like this so we can actually add in these um, these panels like this because they have a small hole in the bottom I'm going to find it right here like this and like this and of course from the other side as well there we go the light is now inside. I need to push it down, but I think I can uh, do that with a with a pin. So I've added in this, and now I just need to put in a top. You can see this right now. I'll move the camera in just a second, but you can see that um, this looks a little more modern than this down here, but in my mind, there was a tower here for many years, and then at some point, they wanted to add in something a little more modern to accommodate modern needs of modern ships. It's 
probably always been a lighthouse, but there probably was some kind of manual way to do this, but now they've added in a fancy new electric uh, light, and that's why the the style is a bit different, different up in the top. So yeah, I think, uh, I think this is looking good, but now we need to add the top and uh, we can be done with this. I don't know if this if this is too lazy, but I I've got to admit that I actually like this end up here. It's it's a little more discreet than the rest of it, and I think that's what you would go for when you were modifying a tower like this. You want to keep it sort of historically intact, but you want to make it uh, uh, something that you can actually use. So making this up here a little more discreet than the rest seems logical to me. So. Um, I think this is uh, this is what I'm going to go with for now. Of course, I'll be taking any and all of your suggestions if you have some, because um, that would be fun. Fun to hear what you have to say about this. I'm sure there are great, great ideas out there. Now, I'll just add in some small detailing here on the bottom on these stairs and maybe also do some tiling up here just to finish it off a little bit more. See if we can find some of these uh, things to put in here just to, um, yeah, just to finish everything off a little bit more. For the windows, I have two possibilities. I can either use these small sort of, uh, I don't know what you call these, like uh, window stuff, like leaded windows maybe. Hmm. And I also have the choice of these brown sort of door pieces. Now, I think these are of course gonna cover up the inside very well, but brown on brown is never really a good idea in my mind. So I think I'll be going with these black ones instead. If you have another idea, please let me know in the comments on my website, www.brickbakery.fun. It would be great to get some of your suggestions if you have any, but I'm gonna go with the black ones for now. I can also always change them out if uh, people like that more. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have my lighthouse. I think this is looking pretty good. It uh, actually went a little easier than I would have thought. Maybe that was because I actually made a plan first. Uh, if we take a look at the drawing I made uh, and sort of try to compare it to the tower as it looks right now. Sudden explosive. Well, that is a feature. Um, well, you will see some discrepancies, of course, uh, but I did think about this. I don't, is this called a parapet? I think this is called a parapet. I didn't think about that before I actually did the tower. Um, these small openings up here are maybe a little smaller than on the drawing, but other than that, I think this is pretty much, is pretty much what I thought it would be. I could maybe have done something here over the doorway to make an arch or something, but I think that was just, it would look weird because it would be very, very big in relation to the rest of the tower. But this is the lighthouse for now. And uh, of course, as I've said before, if you have any kind of suggestions of how you would like this to look, please let me know in the comments on my website, www.brickbakery.fun. And I would be happy to have all of your suggestions. But for now, let's add this to the city and see how it looks. Here we are back in Bakesville, and of course this plate is missing right now. It's where the lighthouse is, and as you folks know, I do have a modular city where I can slide in these base plates one by one if I want to change anything. And I'm gonna try to slide in this one right now so we can see how the lighthouse actually looks. Here we go, sliding, 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 sliding. Hmm. I think this works. I think this works. This works better than I would have foreseen, I think. 
Watching it from this side, I think this looks good. I like this sort of valley effect we have here where you have a tall building over here at the Red Cup Cafe, then down towards the docks and such, and then up again here at the lighthouse. That looks pretty neat, I think. I like that effect. And I like that it sort of separates here, that you get a sense of something else is gonna go on over here, and you get this dock area over here. So that's pretty cool, I think. I think this looks good. This looks really good. And I like that it looks like the old pirate theme. As you guys know, I am a fan of the old pirate theme and uh, having something that looks like that in my city is just great i think but please let me know in the comments on my website www.brickbakery.fun what you think of this lighthouse does it look too much like something from the pirate theme or is this okay please let me know i would love to hear all of your suggestions but i think i'll just go quickly back to me and that will be all for today I think this lighthouse turned out pretty well. I liked the idea of having something that was probably an old tower that had been refurbished into a new tower, uh, but still keeping the old tower essence going. I think I actually hit that to some degree, but I don't know what you think. Please let me know in the comments on my website, www.brickbakery.fun, and I'd love to hear all your ideas and considerations because this is far from perfect. I'd love to modify it based on your suggestions. But that is all for me today, and until next time, I'm Jacob with The Brick Bakery.